Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today in Solvetic, we will see how to fix with different options that this app has been blocked by your system administrator. Chapter 1. Unlock Windows App To start, go to where the file or executable is, right-click on it and select Properties. There in the General tab, you will activate the Unblock box. Click Apply and then click OK. Run the file to verify that the error does not appear. Chapter 2. Disable Windows Antivirus To start, enter security in the search engine. Click on Windows Security. There you will go to the Virus and Threat Protection section. Click Manage Settings. Now you are going to deactivate the real-time protection switch. Confirm system permissions. Now check that the application works correctly. Chapter 3. Run application as Windows Administrator. To start, you are going to right-click on the application, select the Run as Administrator option, confirm system permissions and validate if it opens correctly. Chapter 4. Unlock App from Console In this case, you are going to open the command prompt console as administrator from start by clicking on run as administrator. You must confirm the system permissions. In the console, you will go to the location where the file is using the cd command. We will also use the dir command to list the content. Then use the start command to open the file. It will be necessary, if requested, to confirm the permissions of the system. Chapter 5. Reset Windows App To start you will click on the Start menu, there click on Settings, then click on Apps and then on Installed Apps. In this window you will locate the application with the error and click on its context menu. Select Advanced Options. The next step is to click Repair. Wait for the repair to run. Now you are going to click on Reset. You must confirm again and wait for the application to be restored. Chapter 6. Disable Windows App Lock To start in the search engine, enter the word Reputation. You are going to click on Reputation-based protection. In this window you will deactivate the switches, check apps and files and also potentially unwanted app blocking. 
In both cases, you must accept the system permissions. Now you are going to check if you can use the application. Chapter 7. Edit Local Windows Policies. To start in the search engine, enter the text you see on the screen. Run the command by clicking on it. Now you will go to the route that you can follow on the screen. Next, you are going to locate and double-click on the policy called User Account Control, execute all administrators in admin approval mode. Now check the disabled box and apply those changes. Confirm that you can use the app without errors. Chapter 8. Update Windows Application To start you will open the Windows Store, there you will click on Library. Hey, remember to subscribe Sylvetic Channel. Now click on the Get Updates button. Wait if any of them are for the failed application. Chapter 9, Use Administrator User We are going to go to the search engine and enter the command that you see on the screen. Click on the command in the results. There click on Users, double click on the Administrator User. In the displayed window uncheck the box, the account is disabled, commit those changes. Now you're going to click on the Start menu, click on your username, and then click on Administrator. You are going to log in. You must wait for this user's profile to load. After this open file explorer, you are going to go to the folder where the application is in the user's profile. It validates if it is possible to use it without errors. Chapter 10. Configure LUA Windows. In the Start search box, enter the word regedit. Open the registry editor. Confirm system permissions. Go to the root you see on the screen. There you will double click on the Enable Lua value. In the value data field you are going to enter the number 0. 
apply the changes. Now confirm that the app works without any errors. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.